Hmm. <laughs> Welcome back, guys. Um, yeah, it's me again. Doesn't matter. And yeah, as promised, I'm back with um, the finals of the March Letter Wars. Uh, yeah, as we saw earlier, Tingu be just beat it. Does Dwellon three to one? And moved on to the finals where he uh, clashes with Yu Yui now. Um, yeah, so it's most likely Soviet was allied. Again, first game on Infinity Isle like in the previous series. Um, that's uh, this time Tingu on the left side and Yui on the right side. And yeah, we're jumping right into the action. Starting out with Yui here, going most likely for barracks first, like Tingu. Not much to say here, pretty smart to build the reactor next to the Rex here, because, you know, uh, LA airplanes and stuff just pumping the power away, so we can just crank out some black troopers. Next to it, to the Rex, then it's pretty much safe there. So, both crank engineers here, engineer waiting, sitting there because Bear is cutting his path there. Oh, poor Bear. Oh, well, oh, engineer, oh my god. Woo! Close call, Yui! So, both engineers survived and Tingu is way faster in capturing his oil there. Both have a good amount of infantry out. Selling the wrecks, going for the war victory after second refinery. While Yui still has his wrecks up. And now his airfield, place the airfield there. Because he's most likely expanding with his um, MCV here, so he gains the tech he's doing at the moment. Uh, Yui is tier 2 now, so there will most likely be Friar got a nice uh, Peacekeeper Micro um, with the X key spread out to avoid the Sigil jump. And Sigil got shot by Vindicator. And the peacekeepers gain advantage over those conscripts. No super reactor yet from Tingu, only a second reactor. He's most likely going for this refinery here soon. Scouting bear got shot, most likely by Vindicator. So both are collecting a reasonable amount of units here. Not much to say at all. Um, It seems that Yui is faster. No, he isn't here too yet. But it seems Yui is a little bit faster in his third refinery. Well, not at all. Pretty much equal economy wise. Another sickle. Don't go too far away from your sickle, Bullfrox. And it seems all three. Vindicator survived this nice micro from Yuri there. Tingu captured the building here, so he gains a little bit of vision in Yuri's main base. He planted a turret, the ridge, and the four Vindicators on their way now. Scouting stuff where they'll s have a look for this expansion here. Let's just follow them a little bit. Oh, nice ting nice micro from Tingu there. He kills... Oh, oh, oh too bad. He kills only only one Vindicator and two survive with barely no health. Um, yeah, Tingu is... Uh, not Tingu, Yui is tier 2 now. There's probably out there. Flying around a little bit. Um, 
but it was a nice bullfrog micro actually he moved the um, bullfrogs away from the uh, in the same direction as the vindicators moved so they had a uh, longer shooting time on the vindicators without getting bombed it was kind of unlucky that he only got one vindicator would have deserved at least two or three there ah uh, vindicator cryocopter combination this harvester is going down oh Yui, what are you doing that's actually a bad trade-off Vindicator for a collector. Yeah, well, uh, I wouldn't say bad trade off, but it could have been better. It could have been easily gone without losing the Vindicator there. Just needs to watch Vindicator how he's doing that. Oh, second Vindicator, uh, second Cryocopter there. And he's bombing the building there. That there's a terror drone going around the map trying to scout a little bit in the main base of Yui. Yui set up a war factory there like like uh, Tingu set up his airfield now um, he's moving his MCP probably going for the water expansion here and oh the Twin blade is most likely able to pick up the collector there. Yes, nice. Ah, uh, IFV coming in. Is he able to kill the? Yep, he forced um, Yui to sell the reactor, but he lost the twin blade to the IFV though. He's low power at the moment. He's rebuilding the reactor at the moment to get his turret up again. There's a Polo chasing Twin Blade. Pushed back by the Bullfrog. And yep, fourth refinery for Tingu there. So he's economically ahead now. Although he lost his oil there and he uh, still has it. But yeah, Cryocopter, Vindicator. I don't know, Monique would just split up his cryos. One for that refinery, the other one for this. And take out everything, because he can. But not every player is as advanced as Monique when it comes to cryo harassment, I guess. So. Yui, I hope you aren't mad at me because I said that I'm just teasing you. <laughs> Anyways, um, oh, he moved his MCV back um, on the ridge there. Cranking out bullfrogs and twin blades. Oh, this mig. Oh, Yui, what are you doing? This mig is taking care of your Windicators for fuck's sake. Oh my god. Oh. Holy motherfucking cow. And yeah, well, some three units in the middle here, but nothing too special at all. Um, thing was predating Yui pretty hard, I'd say. Oh, yeah, Apollo chased away the MiG there. Oh, oh yeah, I remember that yesterday. Oh, look at this cry. Uh, look at this collector. Uh, watch on your clock if you have one by hand and just watch the collector. He's not collecting. We'll come back later to this. Um, yeah. Uh, pretty even forces there in the middle. Um, Hammer tanks took care of some IVs there. Yep, terror drone affected the IV and yep, he's still alive. Let's check back the collector. Oh, it's not collector. So it's basically three refineries for Tingu because one is just not collecting. But we'll see what's happening there. Opposite drop there in the middle. Yo, move your fucking forces out there! Oh my god, you just lost a Guardian tank for nothing. 
Oh, nice cryo shot there. Nice cryo shot there. Oh my god. Don't freeze your own unit. Oh god. Well, the cryo shot kind of won the situation there for Yui. Um, twin blades take care of those javelins there, but ah oh well, not too much of a trade of that. Still not collecting. For fuck's sake. Twin Blade is ripping apart this collector here, and it's, it seems Yui is not fast enough to get the. Oh, well, he is. Run, Twin Blade, run. Probably would be smarter yet to build a crane. Okay. Um, well. Another little ambush there. Probably gets the turret down now. Probably not. Why did he just jump the peacekeeper in there? Easy to take it now. Take it, take it, take it. Oh my god. Okay, never mind. Yui is tier 3. Woo, tier 3. So we are most likely to see some. Tricopter flying around to nothing for some reason. Be more aggressive with cryocopters, dude. You see, there's no attack incoming with a little bit of scouting, so just take your cryocopter, take indicator if you have one, go around the side. Probably better idea to go there. One Apollo, one Windicator, one Cryocopter, just if you have them. Oh, there's no airfield anymore. Never mind, sorry, my bad. And another medium sized force trying to get a hold of uh, Yui's expansion there. Again, a nice Cryo shot there, um, which is actually Cryo Blast, but yeah. Kill the turret, dude! Oh my god, you lost so many units. And yeah, it seems he's gaining the advantage over uh, over Yui there. Oh my god, kill the guardian! Oh no! Hmm. Terrodon went down too. Oh, twin blades were able to. Pick up the collector there. But collector's rebuild. Oh, let's watch the current. Oh, collector's still not uh, doing anything. So, still only three refineries there. That's like four minutes now. Just a little heads up. And oh, he even. Just uh, went over this area with his twin blades, and he did notice that the fucking collector's not collecting. And you will probably losing another collector. Maybe not. Athena shield. Actually, pretty nice micro there. And another twin blade force. This is actually. Uh, only good thing what uh, Tingu could do at the moment harass multiple targets with your twin blades, trying to take down as many collectors as possible. He was able to get one and split some forces there. Um, but yeah, kind of. Well, the twin blades, twin blades moving back. Look at this, the twin blades moving back. Again, he needs to see this fucking collector. Oh my god! I was yesterday when I saw it. I was so bothered by this collector not collecting. This is ah uh, yeah. Well, uh, the drone just infected. I am either, but it will make it. Likely. Yep. 
blades flying around everywhere. Oh, look at this! Five twin blades now. Easy pick for uh, easy for this collector there. And now the other two twin blades coming in. Uh, yeah, well, they took care of the collector and just opened a hole in the wall there for Terror Drone, most likely. And the five twin blades there. Again, taking care of the rebuild collector. Nice. Oh. Very close. This collector barely lives there. This collector's rebuild too. No, don't just. Okay, never mind, never mind. Turn around, running around there. And he's. Oh, nice tarot drone. He will. Inf oh, nice. He'll infect the collector. So this one most likely goes down too. The same will do this one, I guess. This collector is surviving because of the Athena shield. Oh, move your twin blades! No! These were two dying twin blades for like nothing at all. Those twin blades took care of the. Collector. Oh, Hammer Tank drop. Nice. Oh, by the way, he crushed his MCV um, into Crane here. And the Collector is still not collecting after seven minutes. Hammer Tank drop, and he forces the IFBs to retreat. And the Bears will take care of the. No, they won't. Now he's he, uh, forced you to split his forces there, so he probably just could go in with this one here. He is really pressuring Yui, but um, for some reason uh, he's not able to uh, take Yui down. Um, uh, awesome A and me were observing this game. And we were, and at this point we were like, yeah, well, that's GG. Tingu has this in the back. But as you can see, just uh, is not uh, confident enough to uh, commit to the final blow on uh, on Yui here, which probably can be uh, bothersome later on. Because look at this, um, Yui gained a kind of a nice force there. Mirage tanky, he's taken down the outpost. Oh, look at the shifts! <laughs> yeah, and see this? He gained an even bigger army than uh, Tingu there. Uh, now he's trying to go in, but decides to back off again. Now with the long range picking up. Four, four. Oh, and this is a fucking nice cryo get on. And this literally will win Yui this match here. Yep. Those twin blades can't do that much there. And look at this. Most of uh most of Tingu's force annihilated by this cryo get on. This was the major blast, blast on uh, on Tingu here. I don't see him defending this anymore. Yep. Cryo get on made the difference. OP! OP cryo protocols, cryo everything, every cryo thing in the allied army is OP. Yeah, and if this crane goes down, then it's, it's just the end, I guess. Yep, it's down. GG. First game for Yui. Due to... Oh, I wanna know what? Look at this! 
12 minutes <laughs> later in the game and the fucking collector still not collecting. Dingo has been defeated. It's um, one for zero in Yui's favor. Uh, yeah, well, kind of close when it comes to unit numbers. Yeah, look at this. The... Uh, the... Say it. The resource difference between those two is not as big as it should be. It should be like... Um, things going like this. Kind of. But... Yeah, his collector was frozen. And he didn't realize that he's just stopped collecting there. This is actually what uh, lost him the game, I'd say. Because with four refineries going, he'd have a much bigger advantage in economy over Yui, which would have led him to win there. But anyways, you know, um, shit happens. Efficiency ratio and kill death ratio on Yui's side. So we'll just move on to game two. Uh, game two, let us smart fight. Again, Cabana Republic. Well, same map as the match before semi-finals, but this time Soviet was allied on Cabana Republic. So, yeah, well, um, what can the people do there? Stuff, I'd say. Um, the possibilities are endless, I'd say. Well, not at all, but you know. And most likely air from the allied player and ground from the Soviet player. Both starting with barracks and reactors here. Pretty standard there. Some animals clinching off in the middle of the map, getting killed by each other. Tingu decides <coughs> to go for a, a fast naval yard there after the first refinery. He most likely will just crank out bullfrogs as a prevention to the incoming allied air which is here. He doesn't even see that Yui built um, an airfield, but it was kind of predictable. Uh, yeah, you see both of there. Oh, the engine! Oh my god! That was close. Did he? No. Never mind. So, we have a bullfrog with an uh, engineer loaded. Oh, this is nice. Look at this dock. Holy shit! You can't see it at all. Turning off the health bot, you don't see it. <laughs> Oh, will, will the dog take care of the engineer? No, Yui does not pay attention. Holy shit. Oh my god, that would be so mean if the dog would catch the engineer there. But you know, this is war. So, Yui tier 2. Yeah, 0, not 0, 1 ref tier 2, second ref. And, yeah. Bullfrog, take care, Bullfrog. Kill the Vindicator! Ah, for fuck's sake! Oh, don't lose your cryocopter, please! Don't! Oh my! Oh, so close! So close! So cryocopter is uh, surviving there. Ah, uh, you is expanding to the rich. Tingu already did. Still only naval yard as unit producing structure by Tingu. Um, oh, we have some conscripts trying to clear out buildings there. Dip -doo, dip -doo. What is going on? Holy shit, what the fuck? Oh, he built. Uh, 
second prospector maybe to expand to the waterfalls. Well, actually, uh, I saw this by some allied players. They went straight for a second collector when they first um, built uh, the ref here. I saw that by, by Fergley, for example, he built a collector from his first ref right when it was deployed and sent it here to get sneaky um, fast expansions on top here which were unscouted very long and because of that um, he gained economic advantage early on in the game oh my god this tricopter is dead holy shit you should go into practice it he should be mentored by Manique how to use Crycons correctly. <laughs> uh, yeah, what, what I wanted to say, yeah, Fergie did that. And yeah, he, he had pretty big economic advantage because it was unscouted so long. What the fuck? Huh. I just saw something which needs further investigation there. Um, it seemed that he placed the refinery way earlier than the uh, outpost there was deployed, which is against the rules. And needs further investigation because I, I I wasn't able to see it from the start. I'll just um, I'll just need to rewatch that and yeah, we'll see. Anyways, I I don't think that makes such a big difference in this game. Anyways, so it will won't have um, an effect on this letter was here. But yeah, it's just not allowed according to the rules. Mm. Kind of one is reaction. But yeah, you know, shit happens. And yeah, well, I think we're taking care of nearly every. Why? Oh, yeah, that was the, the situation I was uh, wondering uh, yesterday in game 2. Why doesn't he just pick up those collectors here fast? I mean, it's only one IFV. Um, well, okay, there's a uh, rip time. Not rip time. Oh, God. Never mind. Thingy coming in and. Tanks taking care of IFBs. Hammer tanks taking care of IFBs. Yeah, well, uh, nothing special happening here at all. Yeah, look at the map. I mean. Uh, Tingu again has much more control over the map than Yui there, and Yui has been defeated. Yeah, I'll, I'll rewatch this replay just to see what he did with the outpost there. But yeah, it's one for one, a uh, one to one. Uh, in the finals now, just check resources. Yeah. Dingo side, efficiency ratio on Dingo side. Um, let's move on to game three. Dum -dum 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 -dum. That was finals game three. Yep, industrial strange. What the fuck? It's the same map 
ass in the semi-finals. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> ah, didn't realize the coincidence yesterday. Um, yeah, again, it's... Oh yeah, that was actually a pretty funny game, but I don't want to uh, spoil anything. So, yeah. Both start... No, both not. Oh yeah, Yui, Yui stated before the game in the chat that he'll do fast airfield stuff, you know. Airfield and indicators. So actually, Tingu was aware of what's coming. So, um, it's cranking out some corner scripts there. Finery, War Factory is going up. Flag Cannon is going up. There's the first Vindicator. We'll just follow the first Vindicator. Um, wow! Oh, nice one warp micro. Oh, yep. Pretty nice. Killed three conscripts there. So, yes, um, MCV moving, um, into this direction, to get another refinery up there, uh, Vindicators, crossing the map, just scum around a little bit there, and, yeah, it seems that Yui mm, doesn't get a spoil, because he didn't go for the Rex, but, this one, he's on low power at the moment, but he's still the reactor. He's moving his MCV to expand. And it's unseen from from Yui though, no? You'll Yui sees it now. It's just cruising around with indicators here. Ready to attack the vindicators if they come in. Yo, smart move to get the oil there, let's say. But thing is on the move for another oil, for the other oil, sorry. And yeah, economically he's in front. Um, but Yuri has a third ref going faster than Tingu though. But um. Yeah, Yui kind of uh, he's yeah I don't know um, he actually isn't doing enough with his vindicators I'd say he's not he's not aggressive enough um, which probably leads um, to an advantage for Tingu here who so barely survived there. Uh, it's probably the it would probably be a good idea if uh, Tingu gets the garage there in the middle. Uh, yeah, well. Oh, he didn't attack the bullfrog. Easy kill there. Anyways, yeah, bullfrogs protect the circle there. And the vindicators not doing shit at all. Um, yeah, so. Tingu is tier 2 and has his uh, third refinery up there. Is the airfield coming? Um, trying to counter um, the Vindicators with mix, probably. A nice one, there goes one Vindicator for only one Bullfrog. Two good trade of there. Um, yeah, what's here? Yeah, Moody gonna turret protecting the path to the refinery there. Uh, yeah, Vinny Kid shot the sickle. I'd say, uh, yeah, most likely. Um, MCV is moving towards the mid. Probably going for the, for this place here, somewhere around here, to, uh, get, <coughs> to get a Tesla and a, and a, Barracks up 
kind of mid-game Tesla push there. Well, it will, it will pressure Yui. And, yeah, he's not doing that much at all now. He's selling all the walls there. So his infantry can get out there. But there's the... There's the... Rex, there's the Tesla coil. Kind of a fail though. Javelins will be able to pick up this Tesla coil. Oh, he cancelled it. And. Hmm. But he forced the collector to get away there. And again, Tesla coil and Rex. Probably he'll crank out one or two bears there. Yep, there's one and nice shielding. Ah, uh, the other bear is only able to stun two, three, two peacekeepers and the, and the javelin. There's another Rex. Yeah, he's, he's um, keeping Yui busy in his own base there. There's a moment to drop coming down. Um, yeah, he's kind of nailing Yui base there and Tingo decides now to uh, this spot and to not waste any more time on the Tesla bush there seeing that Yui gathered a pretty nice mixed force here but he was able to um, uh, to prevent Yui from collecting this ref for quite some time now and yeah look at this MCV going to the water expansion so he'll get his fourth and fifth refinery up um, yeah IFB's chasing Wolfrock's in the way there I got one Wolfrock shame shame <laughs> I'm a tank strike <laughs> playing hide and seek the IFEs there. <laughs> oh no, there's coming another one. And that's one dead with the kid. And a dead IFB. And twin blades unload one, one thingy of rocket. One volley of rockets there. not able to get out of this uh, of his main base area he's yeah he, the only path out there would probably be the very long one around here and he probably oh he's again tier 3 yep tier 3 um oh yeah there's the Athena cannon uh, but <laughs> Look at this thing with uh, five refineries now. And all collecting this time. <laughs> so he has a big economic advantage and he just needs to outspam uh, Yui now. Should just be a matter of time. Unless Yui comes up with something completely random. But. Yeah, he's trying to get out of his main base area there he's pushing back the forces of Tingu just a little bit nice, nice Athena shielding here but yeah that orbital drop kind of load he now needs to push push in and kick ass there Kill the Vindicator. No. Nice micro there by uh, Yui, taking off both of, of the turret drones. But there's another Athena cannon. Don't be afraid. Move in, kick the S there. Okay. Yeah, nice shielding again. Oh, there's a Mirage tank. Twin 
blades and loading a volley of rockets on the airfield. Oh, and the hammer's leeching the mirage. Oh. So, um, yeah, and another volley from the Twin Blades will come in. Is it enough to kill the... No, it's not enough to kill the airfield. Oh, and the Apollo's taking some mix... Oh, god, it's a mix, it's a Twin Blades, so it's hard. Yeah. Uh, Athena Cannon is going to chase away those hammer there. Oh, that was bad micro biting. commits to a little push there, but yeah, you sold us everything. Oh, and the hammer tanks leeched the Athena, so we have an Athena hammer tank. Okay. So let's see. Oh, battle lab tier three. So tier three means Kirovs and Apox and V fours. And again the... No! Don't die! Oh! Nice cryoblast there! Uh, oh! Don't! Oh my... <laughs> don't drive your hammer tank in there, dude! Don't attack the walls! Kill the refinery! Not the walls! Why? Nice! Took out the refinery there! Heroic hammer tank! Oh, don't drive it into there! <laughs> yeah, well, these hammer things are. They are kind of dead. So. They are, oh, oh, Kiro! Oh, and there's the refall. Look at this micro! Boom! Nice micro from Tingu there. And I think, we, I think we decides to go around the left side now. And the Vindicators, not the, not the Vindicators, the Twin Blades taking care of the refinery here. V4 will shoot his missiles too, I guess. Oh no, the IFU! Oh god. Oh, one more blow! Yes, this one is down. Look at it, and boom! Apoc tank there, and there's the key roof. And is he able to do damage? Is he shooting? Shoot! What the fuck? Shoot! Yes, now he's shooting, finally. And it's dead. And the Apoc. Look at this, he distracted Yui with this Kirov and the Apox just raped all the vehicles there. Look at this, a heroic Athena. They are kind of raping. No! Oh, the V4. And the Swin Blade's down too. But there's another Kirov coming. And yeah, two Apox ready to move in there again. Oh, two heroic IFVs trying to take care of this, of this gear up there. Oh, I think Dean again is just kind of barbecuing the bear there. And this gear off went down. Again, just a distraction move. So the Oh, the Kirov, the dead Kirov killed the Athena. Just another uh, distraction move so the Apox can just run in and rape. Yeah, killing all the infantry. That's GG. I mean, Yui managed to expand there, but make a difference now. Athena's dead. Apox harpooning everything they can. War Factory most likely goes down. Go fast. 
And yeah, this MCV will go down soon enough. Oh, and Spy is coming out there. Oh my god. Spy's bribed the bullfrog. <laughs> yeah, GG. Um, no unit producer structures left for you either. So that's um, the third game, it's the second um, victory for Tingu there, well played. Um, uh, Yui kinda harmless with his Vindicators early on and yeah look at the difference in fonts there. Um, oh unit kill, this is actually on the side of Yui. Also the efficiency ratio, but the game went in favor of Tingu. So we'll move on to the next game. It's two to one in uh, Tingu's favor, and the fourth game is played on Snowplow. And surprise, surprise! Look at this. It's an Allies mirror. Um, yeah, uh, before the game. In the, ch uh, in the chat, Tingu mentioned that it, could, uh, that it is uh, already Yui's game, so he would said he's kind of lost before the game even starts. So he decided to just go um, allies, so he prevents Yui from his um, fast airfield push. Oh, and look at this! This dog will definitely oh yes nice micro there this dog will get the ng and yeah this probably screwed yui over pretty much there this is 500 funds lost for nothing a smart placement of the power plant there if it goes infantry spam then the infantry won't reach it there, but Japanese could actually do that. Yeah, um, yeah, you know, two refs, look at this, Yui is not able to get the second ref out there, gonna be behind pretty much, economy wise 500 wasted on the engineer and like half a minute not collecting there while thing was actually there's the oh he placed the war victory and sold his rex there which actually be his, would be a pretty smart move yep SCU is kind of behind like real I mean getting out the airfield now this is scouted by this IFB <coughs> Yeah, IFB is a good idea against the Vindicators. Um, what's interesting to see is that Tingu moves there to expand first. Um, when I was um, observing the game, I was um, actually afraid that this could be the major mistake why Tingu could, lo could lose this game here. Because Yui is going straight for the middle, which is actually... Um, there um, is expanding to the middle is kind of essential in an allied mirror on snowplow I guess and yeah Tingu just decides to go there expand doggy scouts this now but it's too late to block the spot there and yeah Tingu is <laughs> not chasing the dog anymore he's most likely going back into the middle too to prevent um to prevent Yui from pushing too far. And this is probably another mistake um Yui made there. Not he sees that the MCV of his opponent is not here but behind there. Um around there so um he actually could have pushed even further in. Probably like here. Place a turret like there. Just spam turrets to keep him distracted while uh, bombing with Vindicators. Oh yeah, well, he's going for the 
refinery first. But now the IFVs are taking care of the uh, of the MCV, going for stuff there. Tingu placing turret. He just wanted to finish this turret off, but he waited too long, and actually this is why the MCV will most likely go down there. Um, he's low on power, so the turret doesn't help at all. And boom! Yeah, GG. Tingu took the finals there. Right here, right there. There's, there's nothing but Yui could do against this now. All Tingu needs to do now is just play it safe and win this. I mean, look at this, yes, like three of the indicators. No other unit producing structure at all. He sold his rep there for some reason. And, and I not quite, don't quite understand. Yeah, GG. So, congratulations to Tingu. Applause, well played. Congratulations for taking um, the crown in the Letter Wars Championships of the month March. Um, f I, I need to admit for me it is a pretty uh, surprising outcome. Even even the semi-finals were pretty su surprising for me yesterday when I uh, ops the games. Um, but you see um, yeah, Yui is not unbeatable. You can beat him. Easy. <laughs> Please don't be mad at me, Yui. Just making some fun there. Um. Yeah, well, anyways, there's nothing much to say here. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the cast. And tune in for next month's Letter Wars. When I next time post a VOD. It will most likely be the next letter was. So, blah blah blah, DM, shut the fuck up now. Okay, I'll do. So guys, have a nice day and have fun.